it is literally almost six in the morning and we are going to see Demi at Good Morning America. I do want to say after doing this one time, uh, we got here a lot later, not a lot, I lied, it's almost 6 a.m. When we got here at 5.30 for ESPA, the line was a lot longer, like we could see it from this parking garage, and this time we can't. But when we walk in, we'll see if there's a difference. But it's really early in the morning, and we're going. Literally, there's no one here right now. That's crazy. cousin's house we went to the jersey gardens mall afterwards so i am gonna do a hot topic haul real quick 
but I just wanted to talk about um, Good Morning America because I actually spoke to a lot of people today. Um, I've usually never social that early in the morning. I was exhausted, especially because I stayed up for the Blackpink Pink Venom song. And then Demi's album came out, so I... Wow. Like, I'm tired, dog. I'm tired. But, um... Oh, and then the last three episodes of Pretty Little Liars came out yesterday. Gagged. I am gagged. But, um... I wanted to kind of hop on really quickly and answer, like not answer, but like do a little FAQ about Good Morning America because a lot of people who came had no idea like what was going to happen because they've either never been to a One Iota event before or they've never been to Good Morning America before. So um, um, for the first thing, something I talked about with the woman in front of me, um, she was like, oh, you always sit around at One Iota events, which is kind of funny, like, um, because it's usually for a taping or something, there are, like, these, like, in-betweens where you're like, okay, we're gonna film something, then we're gonna take a break, then we're gonna practice, then we're gonna take a break, and now we're live. But, like, live to tape, not actually live. Um, so that's really interesting. Um, so just in case you ever do go to Good Morning America, you have to get there, uh, before 7. <laughs> So the doors open at 5.45 when people start walking and it's this really long walk. You should walk, not run. There were 11 people injured today, which is insane. So they almost canceled the show. And I don't even remember how many people were injured during the ESPO one because that was crazy too. Uh, but you should just walk the whole thing. We're all going to get there at the same time. Um, if Pitt means that much to you, like think about it again. Because the amount of people who, like, pass out in pit, the amount of people who, like, dehydrate, like, I just, personally, I don't think it's worth it, but I'll let you live your life. Um, but I mentioned it in the video earlier that Jamie and I got here later than we did for Espa. Like, when Espa was here, we got there promptly at 5.30, and the line was right where we were parking our car. Like, it was that far outside of Central Park, and I still made it inside. Um, <laughs> and I got second row, but like most people were aiming for pit at that point. So then this time we got here way later. We got here at like five, like we got here like five, like later than 530. We parked, it was 545 or five something. And we started walking and we didn't get into line until closer to like 550, 6 a.m., anything like that. And it was inside the park like the line usually is, but, um... It was a lot shorter than Espa's, so I think that K-pop concerts are always going to be like on another level, and I'm not going to discredit the Demi fans because there were people who spent the night there, and there were people that camped and like had been there for multiple days. So I'm not going to discredit you on that. It's just like Espa, especially because it was the first one for the summer. Like you, I can see how they've reinforced things so issues don't happen again. Um, Another one is you're actually not supposed to bring in professional cameras with like lenses that detach. That's not a rule anywhere. Um, I saw a girl with a DSLR during ESPA's Good Morning America, but it turns out um, when I was getting patted down by security, she told me that I wasn't supposed to have my camera, but because I'm a, she, I'm a fan and she understands, she let me through. Because I already got to the front, and I was like, no, but literally I've been holding my vlog camera in my hand, and nobody said anything to me. So the fact that the security guard was like, you're actually not supposed to have that. And like, I personally put that away, didn't bring it back out. Other people, I, I don't think they would have done that in that situation. I just filmed on my phone again. <sighs> um... So yeah, the structure basically is like, they'll talk to you until the morning show starts. The morning show starts at 7. They're filming segments. They'll just be like waving their hands when you have to cheer. There's this like quiet down and there's just a silent. Um, you will not be able to hear about the interviews. Like I could tell you when they were interviewing us, Espa on stage and when they're interviewing Demi on stage today, you can't hear their answers. You just watch the YouTube video later. You will not hear anything even if you stay as quiet as possible. Um, they're only, Demi's the only mic, Demi was only mic'd up for their performance. Um, what else could I say? It's a really long day. 
technically you're not allowed to bring food or drinks into the venue you can just buy things there there are porta potties there and also yes so just to go back to what i was saying my cousin and i got in and we were the first two to sit in our bleacher section and we picked those seats purposely it is the same exact spot that i sat in for espa like we could have sat in the row in front of us but we're like too short and the bar was like in my line of vision but yeah those are i think the main things i wanted to mention yeah they sell liquid death at the um cart so there is a water option you have to pay for it unless you dehydrate or something like that massage envy was the sponsor again this time i did get one of those fans because the last time they didn't come to our section with fans like i think they already gave them out they had a lot more today and i got a massage envy little heart fan because the sun came out and it was like beaming directly on where we were standing so a lot of people left the bleachers to go into the audience because they didn't want to be in the sun anymore which like understandable I got another massage envy bag and I asked um the person who was working there how they got their job and uh they took my number so we'll see maybe I can work next summer with Good Morning America that'd be really cool and yeah honestly I don't think there's anything new in my massage envy bag so I'm not going to show it uh, but I do have another sunscreen. I took this sunscreen with me to Martha's Vineyard and it's basically empty at this point. So a new one, SPF 50 and it is matte. It's sunscreen lotion. Okay. And now for the piece of resistance. Jamie and I went to the Jersey Gardens Mall and I ran into Alex because she works at Hot Topic and I just, I just, didn't put it together that I would probably maybe see them today, but that was really interesting. So I bought shirts and I also bought some pins because I love a good enamel pin. I bought earrings too. I forgot about those. Okay. Okay. So we have this heart pin for Kiloa. Hello, it's Kilawa. It's not focusing on the pin, but on my hand. Hello, there's Kilawa. Yep, it's a little heart pin and it's heart shaped and I thought that was really cute. And then I have this Powerbuff Girls pin and it says saving the world before bedtime. Uh, which is super cute. I love the Powerbuff Girls. And then the last pin I got was this for uh, President Loki. Vote Loki, everybody. <laughs> and those were the three pins I got. Then I found these earrings that are absolutely beautiful. I haven't truly started a new earring collection yet, but a lot of my earrings went missing during the move where they just, I didn't have a good way to store them. So these are some of my first pairs of funky earrings in the new house. I have lollipop earrings already and I have like lollipop heart earrings and I have regular lollipops but these are really pretty and sparkly stars and I think these are going to be included in my Harry Styles outfit from Madison Square Garden like I'm getting pieces by pieces and I am obsessed with what it might be so besides that I want to talk about the shirts that I got so I got this ghost face shirt that says um, I'm pretty sure it says awe or is it you? Oh, it doesn't say awe. It just says you like scary movies too with hearts around it I'm a big scary movie girl. So I thought this was really cute and it's a medium And it's a boyfriend fit which is nice And then I wasn't gonna get another shirt and then I saw this gem This literal gem what a meme and now i have it on my shirt for anyone who didn't know i actually don't know how to whistle <laughs> and juliet does so have we joked about that uh a lot on the ship yes and then the last thing i got because it was buy two get one free i got a hawkins high school shirt um and i'm just gonna say i'm not new to the stranger things bandwagon fandom whatever you want to call it I've been watching Stranger Things since the first season came out and I've been a fan since the first season came out. So I wanted the Hawkins shirt that's like tan with the little green sleeves and it says Hawkins Middle School on it. But 
why would I do that? I'm not in middle school. So, and it's always sold out on Amazon. So I just decided to get this one today. There were so many, like there were She-Ra and the Princesses of Power. There was a um, turning red one, which I kind of wanted, but it, like I w I'm only gonna get a turning red shirt if it has four town on it. So I didn't get it, but yeah, those are my three shirts. I answered a couple FAQs about Good Morning America just because like I talked to two, 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 eight people. <laughs> I talked to eight different people about Good Morning America and its process and how long it takes and everything. So I just wanted to like lay it out for you really like I feel like I like my brain's a little cluttered because I'm running on like two hours of sleep but it's really simple it's like you film the news segments and you also have a sound check and everything you hear in the sound check you will hear at the concert time and they'll film the segments and then um the artist will come out and perform they're three to maybe four only because Espa did four so i'm saying maybe four songs and um then you say goodbye and then they leave and that's it But that's everything. So, where your brains go? Trying to get that picture with me, better kiss my angles. Yeah, 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 yeah. She asked me, really, do you love me? I said, no.